date women anyway. Yeah, well, nobody's forcing you to date women. But I don't want to date them. Women are evil. Okay, so don't do it. No, you don't understand. I really don't want to date women. Feminism is ruining our society. Okay, then stop talking about it. No, because I don't want to date women. Do you not want to date women? Or do you just want to talk about how much you don't want to date women? I don't want to date women. Hashtag make towel. Going McTow does not equal financial independence and financial freedom. They should not equal to each other. They are contradicting. And going McTow should not mean you have the right to bash the other gender. They also should not equal each other. Hey, hey everyone, today I'm gonna freestyle this rant and this is about personal finance and McTow. But this is a video that I want to do a while now because I keep seeing the, I guess, correlation between the two. A lot of the men in personal finance videos, they talk about MGTOW and they say as if that is the only way to reach financial freedom and financial independence. And MGTOW just basically means being single and not having a girlfriend for men. Um, and in my other video, I talked about this as like a fake choice that people have. So it's kind of like me living in a car. Is it a choice? Yes. But is it a forced choice? Also yes. I am pretty much forced to live in my car because I was like in between moving. I was gonna move to closer to where I work, but it was in between moving. I have not moved yet, but since I have to commute like two hours round trip every single day, I don't think that is a very effective use of my time. So that's why I decided to live in my car temporarily. It is a choice, but it is more of a forced choice. So it's kind of like the, these MGTOW people. A lot of these people, they claim that they're going MGTOW because women are evil, women uh, are leeches, and they're gold diggers, and they only get things, and they never contribute to society. That is their argument. But from my perspective, I am seeing the exact, I wouldn't say opposite, but I'm seeing something different. What I'm seeing right here is that these men are making up excuses of their inability to make enough money so that they can live a traditional like lifestyle with a relationship and with marriage and with kids and with family. I'm not saying that this lifestyle is for everyone. Of course, people can have different reasons to choose lifestyles. They don't have to all have kids. They don't have to all have wives and uh, families and girlfriends. That is their personal choice. But for them to blame it on women, to say, oh, because of women are evil, therefore we are going our own way, that is just very problematic. They are projecting their own insecurities onto the opposite sex. In this case, women. These men are projecting their inner feelings of self-loathe, self-hatred to make women feel bad. But in the end, they know themselves. They know what's really happening inside. They know that they're saying all these things because they are super insecure about their financial position. In my opinion, going financially independent or financially free, that means you have the absolute free will to decide whatever you want to do with your life. And that does not equal to extreme frugality. If in order for you to achieve financial freedom or financial independence, you have to go live extremely frugally for your whole entire life without a girlfriend, without a family. You have to alter your life goals. You have to alter your lifestyle because of so-called financial freedom and financial independence then in my opinion, that is not even true financial independence. True financial independence should be a state that allows you to make decisions regardless of your financial situation. That is true financial freedom and independence according to my dictionary and also the general dictionary online. It is one thing to be a MGTOW because of your truly personal reasons, like maybe of childhood trauma or whatever other thing that happened in your life. That is a separate story. But if you're a MGTOW because you want to be financially free and financially independent, I find that to be super, super troubling and problematic and hard to understand because that is not even being truly financially free. It's like saying, oh, um, in order for me to be financially free, I am going to be homeless and therefore I'm financially free because I'll be spending no money and I'll beg for money and therefore I don't have to work a job and therefore it's being financially independent. But really, like, if your life goal is to be a beggar, if your life goal is to be homeless, then sure, you can be homeless and you can be a beggar and you can achieve your so-called financial freedom and independence. 
But if that is not your life goal and you're changing your life goal in order to be financially free or independent, then I think that is super problematic because you have not achieved it if you have to alter your personal life goal and lifestyle. So in this personal finance space, I just see a bunch of keyboard warriors who call themselves to be MGTOW and call themselves to be rich enough for gold diggers to consider them and uh, rich enough to have enough assets so that they're afraid of people splitting their assets with them when they eventually get married or if they get married and they're so afraid of getting married because there's so much assets to split with and honestly, like, it's, it's another story. Like, if you're so afraid of people splitting your asset with you and uh, taking 50% of that, then that means you probably don't have a, a lot to begin with, yeah? And also, like, what's with the whole assumption that that person is just going to take advantage of you? Like, what kind of assumption is that? Like, that is a whole different story. All these keyboard warriors, oftentimes, they probably don't even have so much money to split with another person. And a lot of these people, just, just being, like, just assuming here, but a lot of these people, they're probably still living in their mother's basement and their only enjoyment is just to bash other women in this personal finance space and to make them feel bad and to call all women gold diggers and to call the other gender evil, basically. And I find that really unnecessary. This world that we live in is not built by a single gender. Without women in this society, there wouldn't be you, there wouldn't be men, because women are, are mothers, women gave birth to you. Your mother is probably a woman, right? And so the whole like discrediting women and discrediting the other sex, I find that to be so problematic. The whole like creating a war between the two genders, I find that to be so problematic. Yes, you can go make tao, no problem. That is your personal choice, there is nothing wrong with that. But if you go to the subreddit of MGTOW, you can see all these people who are just so negative and so dark and they have all these negative thoughts and evil things to say about the other gender and it really, honestly, it really hurt my feelings to see that. And it really made me realize what kind of society do we, do we live in and these people who are lurking in the subreddit posting all these really dark and evil things. They probably live in our society somewhere. They, they might be our friends and coworkers and they might be just there acting like a normal human being, but deep inside they have such deep hatred towards women. The way that they discredit women and generalize as if all women are just leeches, that really bothers me. Growing up as a, as a female myself, I know the struggles of being a female. I know the, the pressure and also the expectations. Like if I grow up, I will, I will probably have to plan my career around when I get married or when I have kids or uh, when I go out and find a boyfriend, uh, when I start dating, when I devote myself into a relationship, um, all these different things and when do I do certain things to make my appearance look better, uh, spend time and money on dates, like all these different things. I know these expectations. And I guess it's easier for me to know these things because I'm a woman myself, I'm female myself. But for some men to discredit that, I just think it's super problematic. So I'm just gonna read this from an anonymous Reddit poster because I think this has a lot of truth to it. Honestly, this doesn't sound too far from some of the people in our society. I don't wanna date women anyway. Yeah, well, nobody's forcing you to date women. But I don't wanna date them, women are evil. Okay, so don't do it. No, you don't understand. I really don't want to date women. Feminism is ruining our society. Okay, then stop talking about it. No, because I don't want to date women. Do you not want to date women or do you just want to talk about how much you don't want to date women? I don't want to date women. Hashtag make tau. That is the whole thing I see around here. All these men are claiming they're going their own way, but at the same time, they are spending all this time and energy bashing women, bashing the other sex, calling the other gender evil, calling all women as gold diggers, calling women all these names. Once they spot a woman in the personal finance space, they bash these women, they lash out on these women, and it's like, if you really want to go their own way, shouldn't you just leave the other gender separate? Like, just not, just leave the other gender alone and not interact with them and not talk to them, not stir an argument, not start an argument. Like, isn't that common sense? But there's just so much contradiction about 
going MGTOW in the personal finance space. Going MGTOW does not equal financial independence and financial freedom. They should not equal to each other. They are contradicting. And going MGTOW should not mean you have the right to bash the other gender. They also should not equal each other. There's so much, so much contradiction in this mixed hell lifestyle that I just truly don't understand. Please enlighten me in the comments and I will see you in my next video.